What's going on guys? Welcome back. Man 16 PS4, do me a favor, take a moment, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter, shutdown safety is my username. I know I've been a little bit behind on the CFMs, but I am going to get back to it, but I had to stop everything and show you guys this play. What a special Madden play this is. These plays don't happen all that often, and that's why when they do, I I'm fair. I'm unbiased about it. I come out and show you. I wish we could see gameplay like this more frequently, whether it was a touchdown or not. Some really good things happen on this plan. I want to bring them to your attention. So first thing I want to talk about is this block off of play action. Now, I'm showing you the boxes so you know where user control is. Johnson comes over here and gets in a position to block either the linebacker Thompson or the, li or the lineman Johnson. And you can see for a second it starts to shift him out right here as if he's going to block the linebacker. And what happens is user control goes away from the block. And the game, instead of moving Johnson over toward Thompson to complete the block, actually allows him to stay there and basically get absorbed by the defensive lineman. And if that doesn't happen, it changes so much of the complexity of the play because that's the player that's pressuring me. And I like the fact that even though, you know, he doesn't directly run back and I get the pass off, that the game was accurate in what it did and the way it represented the way a blocking scheme would be completed. Now, taking a look at Floyd here, the other great thing is look at how well he does getting through some of this traffic. I've got a second level block here, which is a good thing, but normally in Madden's past, we would see Floyd either one, run through this full speed as if it never affected it, maybe breaking interactions along the way, or two, run and just stop. In this case, you can see he has to respect the fact he has players around him throws his timing off just a little bit, but he's able to still get out, get the nice secure catch and turn up field. Now, once that happens, you see we're at the 30 yard line, you know good blocking has to come downfield. And it really starts right here with Gresham and Robinson. Does a great, excuse me, Harper. Does a great job. Man, I tell you what, if you're thinking number 41 for the Panthers and you think Eugene Robinson, that's on me. But you can see here a great job of blocking Harper then goes off to another next level block. And I've got Leach now right in position to seal off the edge. And I actually get to run behind him a little bit. We don't collide. I just kind of help set that block for myself. And that's what you want to see. Secondarily, we take a look going up again. Gresham's going to pick another block. And yeah, it's not all that important that Kurt Coleman gets blocked here, but it's nice to see continual blocking up the field. It doesn't certainly impact the touchdown, but it sure looks nice from a, a player perspective, when I'm running up the field and I see that I've got players going up and continuing to block downfield for me. So again, just wanted to show you a play where a lot of little things that could go wrong didn't. A lot of user control got respected and ultimately it allowed you to have a successful touchdown, but also defensively, a lot of good things maintain themselves down the field in terms of the blocking. Love to know your opinions on it. Appreciate you checking it out. I'll be back in the week with more content.